हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जर्नी विद विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द टॉपिक एपोमिक्सिस सो लेट्स प्रोसीड एपोमिक्सिस कैन बी डिफाइंड एज मोड ऑफ ए सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन वेयर सीड्स आर फॉर्म बट इम्ब्रियो डेवलप विदाउट फर्टिलाइजेशन आफ्टर रिप्रोडक्शन द प्लांट विल रिजल्ट आइडेंटिकल जीनो टू द पेरेंटल लाइन्स विच आर यूज फॉर द रिप्रोडक्शन In apomixis, the apomictic species utilized having suppressed or absent nature of sexual reproduction. On the basis of sexual reproduction, apomixis is divided in two categories. First one is facultative apomixis, where sexual reproduction takes place in apomictic species, and second is obligate apomixis, where sexual reproduction is absent in apomictic species. In many crop species. the facultative apomixis is reported here we will study about classification of apomixis apomixis is classified in three types first one is adventive embryony second is apospore and third is diplospore adventive embryony refers the development of embryo directly from vegetative cells of the ovule where the development of embryo doesn't involve production of embryo sac and it occurs in mango and citrus crops second type of apomixis is apospore where some vegetative cells of the ovule develop into unreduced embryo sac after meiosis and the embryo may develop from egg cell or some other cells of embryo sac and it occurs in some species of Heresium, Mellus, Crepis, and Ranunculus species, etc. Third apomixis is diplospore, where the embryo sac is produced from megaspores, and it may be haploid or diploid. And generally, the meiosis is so modified that megaspore remains diploid, and it leads to the parthenogenesis or apogamy. Diplospore having two conditions. First one is parthenogenesis where the embryo develop from egg cell depending on embryo sac it may be haploid or diploid and in such cases the parthenogenesis is termed as haploid or diploid parthenogenesis and haploid parthenogenesis occurs accidentally like crops solanum nigrum nicotiana crepis and maize and diploid parthenogenesis occurs in many grasses and as the apogamy is concerned the synergids or antipodal cells develop into an embryo it may be haploid or diploid apogamy depending depending upon the state of embryo and it occurs in some crops like alum antenaria and achimela etc here to go through significance of apomixis Apomixis doesn't make convenience when breeder desires to mate sexual progeny by selfing or hybrid development but apomixis play important role and having great help when varietal maintenance is required in breeding of apomictic species needs to avoid apomictic progeny if there is need to make crossing or producing inbred lines to keep the genotype of the variety intact and proper maintenance after selection of desired genotype can be multiplied and maintained through apomictic progeny as apomixis is a means of asexual reproducing crop species which are highly heterozygous and so higher extent degree of inbreeding depression so in apomictic species inbreeding should be avoided So this presentation was all about apomixis thank you very much